Hello, everybody. Cedric and CJ here, CRWC, and we'll be recovering, re reviewing, because they're recovering, reviewing All Elite Wrestling's Rampage uh, that happened this past Friday, which was yesterday, right? Yep. Yep, yesterday. Yesterday's stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this, okay? So, it, it opens with a tag team battle royal. The winners will face Better Than You, Bay Bay. <laughs> For the Ring of Honor Tag Team titles at All Out, which will be Sunday. The winners are Dark Orders, John Silver, and Alex Reynolds. They they eliminated Ozzy Open. So it takes, I don't know, four or five minutes, I don't know, for them to get up the ramp. But Jericho sits in commentary with no shirt on. Don't know what that's all about. After the Battle Royal loss, Ozzy Open goes up to the table and starts messing with Jericho. A fight breaks out. Sammy Guevara runs in to help Jericho uh, to fight off Ozzy Open. Okay, after that, Mike Santana tells his story. He says he joined AEW, and then one year later, his father dies. That killed a lot inside, and I really don't blame that. If you got a great relationship with your family, a loss is too jarring and shocking. There's no preparation, so it, yes. Uh, two years later, he got injured in the cage match during a uh, cage ladder match. Uh, messed up his knee, thought it was all over, and he says, hey, I got a story to tell. That's great. Nick Wayne and Vikingo come out. They're going to face Kip Sabian and Gringo Loco. Yeah, so uh, Nick Wayne was introduced at 178 pounds. I call straight up bullshit on that. Uh, look, Nick Wayne weighing 178 pounds is like me weighing 90 pounds. It ain't happening. All right, I got a friend, six foot four. He was weighing 184 last I saw him. And he was just above being a rail. Nick Wayne has got to be five inches shorter and three times smaller than my friend. He's got to be 150. Nick Wayne is probably 128 pounds, maybe 132, maybe. But definitely he's over, he's over 125. All right. He is that tiny woman's weight. Okay, straight up. I want you to be straight up real with this. All right, Cedra? Yeah. Who looks bigger, him or Angelina Love? Him. He looks bigger? Yeah. By how much? Not by much, but he does look bigger. Angelina Love is roughly 115. I thought she was 98 pounds. At one point. She was, when we first saw her, when she went to the veganism, we saw her again, she was Skironsville. Skironi. She's put on some weight since then. Which is where she is now. She's about 115. Nick Wayne ain't that much bigger than her. Ain't that much. It's, it's the height. Shrink him down to her, which ain't much. If and, you shrink him down to her, he, he would be thicker. And look, <laughs> I did last time I heard Vikingo's weight, he was supposed to be somewhere like they introduced him to something like 195 or something. If Vikingo that comes up to this boy's shoulder is roughly 20 pounds heavier, no, no. Build weight and then straight up lying is different. You know, me, I am, what, 298? Roughly, that's where I am. Mm -hmm. You could put me at the build of anywhere from 315 to 330 and people will believe it. That's a build weight. But if you put me at 450, people are like, wait, where, where is it? If you said, yeah, making his way to the ring, weighing 219 pounds, you'd be like, <laughs> he'd be lying. You know, it's like, okay, so you, so you gave his clothing weight. What's him? You know? <laughs> so the Kingo wins with the 620 centon or 630 centon on Loco for the win. Then there's Adam Page versus uh, the bounty hunter, Brian Keith. Um, yeah. Page kicked him off. Brian runs to the ropes. Uh, slingshot flip, buckshot lariat for the one, two, three. All right. Then the remaining three of the JAS are in the back with Renee Paquette. Menard is on some kind of upper that makes him loud and fully animated. Garcia dances at Renee. Um, Renee looks like she doesn't believe a thing that they are saying. She fights hard to not laugh at their antics 
And as the song goes, it's written all over your face. The only good thing about what was said is uh, who hand and yes. made a point of saying that they spent the last year backing up Jericho and the biggest show of them all, they were at home. Yep. Jericho was there, but they were at home. What they got to show with being part of JS, a big steaming pile of nothing. So finally, one of them has verbally acknowledged what I've been seeing all along. Yep. And so now that they had their, you know, hey, look, you know, we're going to talk about this. We're going to settle this. We're going to leave you. Now we're going to be our own. But you know what? Keep the names. Don't need no daddy magic Mac Menard. Just be Mac- Matthew Menard. That's all you got to do. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. You know, you know, just. You know, abandon the stupid names. Yeah, if you're gonna keep a name, if you're gonna make yourself a name, just be called, you know, um, the heroin rider or something. <laughs> that fuck? man, that man is on something. He's not on heroin. Yeah, he on he on that or something. Look, I'm not a drug expert. I'm not even a novice, but I'm just saying he's taking a drug to make him this crazy looking. And it's not heroin. It's something. It's something. Yeah. You know, no. I don't care if he's ODing on ibuprofen. He's taking something. Yeah. It's an upper, so it's like cocaine Look, I don't know. I or don't know. crack. Okay. I'm telling you. Crack cocaine. <laughs> Sprinkled on him. But it's not heroin. It's something. <laughs> if y'all down to me because I don't know drugs, what does that say about y'all? So no think about downing. that. I'm just letting well, not you know. you. I'm talking about the listeners. He'd the people stretched. that we can't see. He'd be stretched out if it was heroin. You sure? Yes, heroin is a downer. Okay. Cocaine-laced meth. I don't know this I don't know, do something. It's the burrito of drugs. I don't know. Um, so then we get to what I didn't know was the main event because it was really ugh. Anna J and Taya Valkyrie versus Willow Nightingale and Sky Blue. This was a pantomime match of foolishness. All right, first, Taya Valkyrie is has urine yellow hair. Anna J couldn't kick. A fly taped to the wall. Never has never been able to kick. Willow Nightingale is the only worker in the ring. And she had to dumb down her working to work with these people. Sky Blue finally hit that spin kick on the mat that and it looked good for once. No, for twice. Second time I saw it looked good. Um let's see what else. Taya Valkyrie. Listen, listen. They can't sell water to the thirsty. You hear me? They can't sell sandbags to a river that's about to burst its banks. They couldn't buy a politician if they had $2 million. These guys, these girls, they suck except for Willow. It's just terrible. Uh... Sky Blue hit the rolling Yoshi tonic on, uh, I think it was Anna J who had to turn. She got kicked and then she had to turn dangling her arms and wait for it. Anna J gave super kicks that in a miscue for Taya to hit to, to, to foot jab Taya who gets kicked, turns, waits, and then sells it. Oh my goodness. If while this leap, was theater, leap into the ropes so she could roll out. If this was theater on Broadway, trust me, somebody would have shot them, and no one would have snitched. They would have. Been, I don't know. I don't think anyone had a gun here. I heard no gunshots. That's how bad this was. This was just acting. This was body motion to convey that they can't wrestle. They're trying to do a physical act to show you that they can't wrestle. Willow was like, "Wow, I'm." I'm stuck with this. Willow, look, she's great. Let me tell you how great she is. She didn't pull her straps down. She didn't have to. That's how bad this was. Very little effort. So at the end of the match, Taya attacks Sky Blue and Willow chases her off. Yeah. So the the other women in the match don't have any incentive to be able to perform well. None. Willow, Nothing. Willow's got incentives. Where she's got to be the very best she can be at any possible time. Yep. This right here shows this. I don't blame the girls for this. 
They they show what y'all see on screen. That is what you call the evidence of poor promoting, poor company running, poor booking, poor leadership. Incentive. I am paying y'all, let's say, seventy-eight thousand to a hundred plus thousand dollars a year. You best learn to wrestle. Be a minimum of Willow and Athena. That's it. Trainers, teach them. If you don't learn, you get out. We'll find somebody that wants to make that kind of money and be presented on national TV. But you are not going to gum up my works paying you that level of money. Uh Uh-uh. So that's how I would be. But yeah, that's going to do it for this. Make sure you check out Spreaker for our review on NWA 75 Night 2 and some other things. Uh, so with that, this has been Cedric and Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary reviewing All Elite Wrestling's Rampage event. With that, y'all be chill, be good, be safe, and we'll see you next time.